My son, I know how you feel. But I want you to be brave. My kind of sickness is not the type that you treat with English medicine. Don't father. I perceive that my ancestors want me home. Father, no, you can't say that. Your son needs you. I need you. The entire kingdom needs you. Please, let the doctors come and take care of you. You'll be fine. My daughter, you won't understand. I thank you for the concern you have regarding my health. But my time is up. Father, your time is not up. Stop sounding this way. You make it through this one. Go. You make it through this. <sighs> Father, the great lion of Esiana. It hurts me so much to see you in this condition. Believe me, I can't wait to see you back on your feet. My son. My son. Is that why you don't normally eat? Your wife told me. Hmm. Father, how will I eat? Huh? How can I eat when my own father is lying sick, helpless? Your worries will not change anything. Rather, I want you to think more about the throne and the kingdom. I, I don't understand, Father. How? My son, it is obvious that I can make it. Oh. After me, you will be the next king. I want you to think about how to take care of my kingdom. Because if you are not strong as a man, you will be incompetent to rule my people. Father, I keep telling you the same thing. Stop sounding this way. You're not going anywhere. It's not your time for you to leave. Get Ikomo. Stop sounding this way. We've lost mother already. I can't afford to lose you. Stay strong for me, Iko. My son, quit thinking and talking like a child. I cannot live with you forever. Fortify yourself and continue where I stop. Oh, it's really breaking me down. It's really breaking me down. I can't, I can't do this one. It's weighing me down. Kelvin, there's something important I want you to do for me. Anything, anything at all I'll do. If I finally join my ancestors, I want you to make sure that your younger brother who is living in America will return and stay home. You're welcome, my elders. Thank you. His Majesty sent for us. Is he in? Yes. He's there in his room. You can come with me. Thank you. Your Majesty. 
How are you today? I know. It is terrible. I am getting weaker every day. Where are the rest of the elders? I sent Mazen Bamalo to call the rest of the cabinet members. They will soon be here. It's all right. For your majesty. It is your sickness. I don't understand it. Oh no. It is obvious that my forefathers are calling me home. And this is why I sent for you. It is about my two sons. What about them? Oh no. When I am gone, my first son Kelvin will succeed me. Yes, Your Majesty. That is certain. Kelvin is your first son. He will succeed you. But I don't want him to be made king unless he ensures that his younger brother who lives in America comes back and lives with him. Your Majesty, why, why do you make such a decision? I know. Mike has lived in America for many years. I want him to come back and settle down. But he will not be able to do so unless Kelvin persuades him. Very well, Your Majesty. We will not crown Kevin King unless Mike comes back home. I don't know why I have heard you, but I want you to swear for me. Your Majesty? Yes. Uh, I, I swear by the gods that we shall not crown Kevin King unless Mike come, comes home. <coughs> Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. God! 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 Hi! Million Lule Lueso. The great Iroko has fallen. Oh no, the great Iroko has fallen. Our ancestors, please receive your soul. He will be buried tomorrow. Excuse me. What are you saying? That's not possible. I'll put him on the mortuary first, then I'll plan his burial. My son, this is our tradition. We don't freeze our kings. Mm -hmm. I don't care what your tradition is. He is not a child, so he will not be buried like a child. He's a king. He may not be a child, as you said, but before the gods of tradition. He is a child. If you dare disobey the gods, whatever you see, you take. Mili ama mbale na aje. Olu anu o. Please, let's go outside and discuss this. We don't argue in the presence of the dead. This is our tradition. It's been there for ages, so nobody can change it. I think the most important thing for you to do is to grant him his last wish. Okay. What was his last wish? Did he tell you? 
He said you must make sure that your younger brother, Mike, comes back to Nigeria to step on them. Okay. Uh, he actually told me that before he passed on. Okay. Uh, but you know, my brother is an adult. So I cannot force him. I need to consult him. I present the idea before him. I don't know what he has to say about it. Yeah, that's true. Considering he's been used to the American lifestyle, so we need to talk to him and know if he'll be comfortable coming back to stay here permanently. Your father said we should not crown you king unless Mike comes back to live with you in this palace. Okay, Zemi. is gone. We are orphans. He couldn't hold on for me to come back. Your father really went you in love before he died. I think the gods know best. It's good to finally meet your wife. <laughs> also good to have you back. Oh. <coughs> so, where is our father's corpse? Mm. Father has been buried. What did you say? Father has been buried. What are you trying to tell me? Am I no longer his son? Or I have no right as his son to witness the burial of my late father? Tell me! <coughs> Our son, please calm down. We sympathize with you. But our tradition is that we don't embalm our kings. They are buried a day after their death. What sort of stupid tradition is that? You bury my father, the king of this land, your king, like a chicken? Is that it? My son, please watch what you say before you kill your brother because look at me. Does he look like I care? Answer me! Does he look like I give a fuck about your gods? Mike, 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 easy. Hmm? Easy. These are elders you're talking to. Huh? Please. I understand the way you feel. You have no idea how I feel. Because if you do, this will not be happening. You will wait for me to come back before our father be buried. Mike, I agree with you. Okay, you're right. I tried. But they made me to understand that it's our tradition. I even realized that it was the same way our grandfather was buried. Yes. 
Do you know what it means to be away from home for 10 years? Not only did I come back to meet the dead of my father, you buried him without me. Why? <clears throat> what is going on here? It's so painful. Yes. But the only way for your late father, our late king, be happy wherever he is, is to do his wish. Mm -hmm. What were his last words for me? His last words for you were that you will come back to this country, never to go back again. You will stay here with your brother and live in the palace. That was his last words. Chris Mike. Yeah. That shouldn't bother you at all, man. You know what? You know you haven't been around for a while. I am a pimp. Mm. When you talk about the hottest pimp, man, talk about me. Listen. I can hook you up chicks from all over this nation, man. Name it. Beautiful. I don't think you <laughs> understand what I am talking about. I'm not just talking about some classless chicks. I'm talking about great girls. Girls suitable enough for me to establish a modeling company. No, you do not understand, my prince. You have no idea what I've become. I am a pimp. I mean, when I talk about pimp, I'm a pimp. A five-star pimp, nigga. <laughs> I promise you, I'll hook you up chicks, top chicks, spotless, beautiful, curvy, and what have you, man. All right, well, that sounds good. So, where are they? I've got these chicks cut out all over the universities. Just a phone call away, and you have them lit out here. Oh, okay. Um, since you have these girls, uh, we just fixed an audition, okay? So... We assemble them all, and then we pick the best ten. How about that? My friends, come on, man. <laughs> Jeez, you've always been brilliant. Okay. A very brilliant idea. I promise you, it's a good one. Let's have an audition, and then you're able to select about best ten from the best I'm bringing for you. Because trust me, I'm bringing the best across. Trust me. <laughs> well, enough of the best girls. How about the best place in this town? Take me to somewhere nice. Let's. Spend some real time. Hey, cash. <laughs> now you're talking, man. I run this town, man. I, I spend it all the time. I'll take you to one of the most happening places in town. Okay. And when we get there, you see some kind of chicks you like. Whoa. Sexy. Whoa. Fed ass. Whoa. Oh, God. Whoa. You don't Whoa. Want... <laughs> well, so what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's hit it, man. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, chest to so much. Now, come on, man. Let's have you back, man. Of course. Jeez. I miss you, man. You don't want to talk about mine, man. Thank you so much, man. My friends! Mm -hmm. Look at my nigga, man. so long. I thought you said it was just a brief meeting between you and Troops. Oh, <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, it's been a while. So after work, Troops and I just drove around town, you know, sightseeing. Yeah. Okay, so both of you decided to have fun. Ah, that's the word I was missing, fun. He took me to some nice places and guess what, bro? We had lots and lots of fun. Then you got drunk in the process. Come on now. Huh? Mike, come on. This is not America. This is Nigeria. You're back here now. And always remember you are a prince. Oh, oh, come on, bro. Bro, please. Uh, it is your responsibility. You are the king and not me. It's your responsibility to look after this great kingdom and the people in it, not mine. I'm just a prince. Moreover, I have very important business to handle. My modeling agency. 
Very important. Look, I have nothing against your business. All I want is for you to always move with the consciousness of who you are, right? There's nothing anybody can do about it. Nobody can change it. You are a prince. Yeah, this is not America. This is Nigeria. You're back here now. In fact, from this point on, you'll be moving with two guards. Very important. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Bro, just tell me you want to monitor my movement. What do I need guards for? I'm fine. I don't need your guards. I'm cool. Cool. You are a prince. And there must be a clear-cut difference between you and the regular people. My queen, I understand you perfectly well, but it happens to be that you do not understand me. I mean, in America where I came from, who gives a fuck if you're a king or not? Everybody minds their own business, all right? Can I just practice that kind of lifestyle here? I mean, it, it can work. It will not work. It never works. This is Nigeria, not America. You're back here now, okay? And young men of this kingdom, they look up to you. Don't forget that. Okay, 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 your majesty. You can at least go upstairs, freshen up, look good, spray some nice cologne. Please, please. Mission to fall out. Yeah, thank you, your majesty. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, okay. <sighs> He's so used to American lifestyle. Yeah. It won't be easy to change him. He's been there for close to 10 years. It won't be easy. And since he was a child, he's always been like this. You know, loves being alone, loves doing his own things. But all the same, I love him. I'm glad he's back. Not now, not now. Be calm. Some other time, huh? Friends, I, I'm very busy. Sorting out something very important. Some other time. Mm. Are you listening to yourself? What do you take me for? A piece of wood that has no feelings? My love, don't start this. Uh, don't start this. I'm, 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 I'm handling a lot. Uh, a lot of things. Don't forget I'm king now. Uh, things have changed. I'm settling a lot. Uh, community issues, uh, you know, problem with the villages and... Six months, six months since we last made out. Are you alright at all? What sort of man are you? Are you sure you're okay? How can you say such a thing to me? Of course you know I'm okay. I'm very okay. Look, give me some time, okay? I know you need this thing. I'll give it to you, but give me some time. I'm going through a lot. Too many things on my mind right now. Please. Too many things going through your mind. Like what? First, it was your father's illness. Eventually, he's dead. Then the next thing was bringing your brother back into the country. All of that has been done and settled. Give you time to do what? Be please. Make love to me. Mm -hmm. I need to hold my babies. I want to have my babies. I, I, and I said I would do it. Give me time. Okay? Uh, at least not, not this night. Tomorrow. I promise you. Huh? Tomorrow. Eh? Anyhow you mm -hmm. want it, I'll give it to you. But not this night. Tomorrow. Okay, at least touch me. Ah. Oh, have I been speaking French? Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. What, what's wrong? Why, why is it okay? Where are you going? You don't want me to get some rest now. You can have the whole room. Let me go to the room. Let me do something. Tell me. What's all this? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Yeah. I don't. Did it? Eh? Eh? 
All right. All right, baby. Let me see you twerk that thing your mama gave you. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! All right, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right, let me see you go one more time. <laughs> so tell me, are these boobs real? You sure? All right, Briggy, let me see if they have soundtrack. Woo! <laughs> They're real. <laughs> They're real. <laughs> All right, go one more time. Let me see you. Catwalk, baby. Let me see. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> Life is good. Life is good. All right, baby. Now you have passed the first text. In fact, you did excellently well. The major test. Major test. So if you pass this test, officially you are my model. Of course. Are you ready? Then let's get down to business. <laughs> I like you. You know why? You are serious. Of course. <laughs> I like you. Come here. <laughs> you good. All right. Come here. So where is that? <laughs> so tell me, my prince, how was the room audition? How did it go? Wow. <laughs> Honestly, you just reminded me something very special. Come on, man. I want to hear mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Henceforth, I don't think there will be any public audition. It's private audition. <laughs> Bad man. Yeah. Okay. This brings us to going to universities ourselves mm. to go select the top and best tricks in town. I agree with you. As a matter of fact, this is the best thing you've ever said since you were born. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't even start with me. <laughs> uh, okay, now. Yeah. In details. Mm -hmm. How was their performance? How did it go? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It was awesome. Tell me about it. Smooth as ice, twice as nice. But there, there is this, um, there is this one. You know, she looks very beautiful, like a goddess, mm -hmm. more like a model. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna retain her. Then we can look for nine others. I don't understand, my prince. Are you trying to say you leaving out the other one? Come on! Don't you think she's she start feeling bad for not oh, being selected? Oh come on! She's entitled to her own opinion or however she feels. As a matter of fact. <laughs> I gave her good money, man. Oh, you did? Yeah, once you get laid, you get paid. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I've always known you're a nice person. You're a very kind person. I am very proud of you. As a matter of fact, I'm happy to be your friend. Wow. You know you know what? You are humble, understanding. I mean, so much that people around would even notice you're a prince. Well, Chooks, I have always understood life. Life is not a bed of roses. I need you to understand that fact. One, secondly, irrespective of who you are, where you come from, your background, upbringing, 
Just understand that we're all equal in the sight of God. True that. But it takes somebody with a sound understanding to actually know this. Not everybody will know this. <laughs> so there's something about you, man. Let's talk about something else. I'm so... proud to be your friend, homie. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's cheer to this, oh, man. Mm. So tell me, when was the last time you changed dollars? I'm wet. Come on, man. It's been a while, man. You broke. <laughs> what do you mean you're not coming home tonight? What sort of nonsense contract is that? But you said you were going to spend the night with me today. What kind of zealous king are you? You can come home tonight and then continue with whatever it is tomorrow. It mustn't be tonight. Who is that? It's me, Mike. All right, come, come in. I, I hope I did not disturb your sleep. Oh no, no, that's fine. I'm perfect. Okay. Um, the king, your husband, my brother, called that he wouldn't. He know. won't be back tonight. He already called. You. <laughs> In that case, there is no need to bother you. Uh, Mike. Yes. Um. Yes, it's uh, about the ladies earlier today. Oh, my colleagues. Uh, you see, if you're actually looking for a good woman to marry, you know, you don't need to involve yourself too much with all us women. Just take it easy, slow down. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sure you'll definitely pick a good girl. <sighs> nice advice. I'll keep that in mind. All right. <laughs> and then, good night, hug. <laughs> A hug. Good night. Good night. Take care of yourself. God has finally remembered a poor widow like me. Eh? He has answered my prayers. The prayer of a poor widow. Eh? My daughter has now gained admission into the university. Okay. Mama. I can say that I'm happy and also sad at the same time. Why? Obre Fitcher, you've always wanted to go to university now. Mama, can't you see that I'm lacking the financial backings that will lead me throughout my university? Hey! <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe I should surprise you. I have been saving you tin, 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 small, small money over the years. Yes. So maybe we'll start working with that small money I've saved, then work at that. For more money to sustain you in the university. Mama, are you serious? Yes, Mama, I'm serious. Are you serious? Yeah, Mama, Mama, I'm serious. Thank you very much. Yeah. God bless you for me, Mama. God bless you. God bless you, Mama. Oh. Okay, I would not have on your university. I'm not a possible. Mama, I don't know how to pay you back. What can I do to pay you back? Hey, let me think about it. Anything, 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 anything. I know what you'll do for me. Okay. Promise me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm serious. You will never join any bad company in the universe. I promise. You promise? I promise. And one more thing. Remember your background. <sighs> hmm? Thank you, Mama. I promise oh, you, nothing. I will not fail you. Oh, God will bless you for me. Now, give listen, you it's time to make money. Go to the back. 
If you got that beans, mm -hmm. to chanya, to chanya, we are going to fry beans this evening. Eh? Oh, Thank you, mother. God oh, bless you. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, on your campus. Hey, the bubble, one in a yak and a loser, but I'm going to graduate. Hey, graduate. Hey, in the end of this before I came and look at the cup of cocot. Cocot, you are the old one. Very soon, people will be saying, if you go one year like her down the road, I say yes. No graduates, no graduates. Let's run no graduates. So that's me. Linda, so this is Anne that my cousin will discuss about. Oh, the new student you told me about. Yeah. You're welcome. So please, I brought her so you can accommodate her till she get her own accommodation, please. You see. You know how much I appreciate my privacy. I know. You know what? I'm going to do this just because you've been helping me write my exams. Thank you very much. God bless you. You're welcome. You really saved me from this accommodation stress. God bless you. I know. You know what? That's the wardrobe. Just pack your bags, just put them in there. Okay? You see what's up now? Thank you. I'm the time to stay that man. What are you saying? I shouldn't go out anymore and help my own people. Is that it? To the detriment of your family? Is that what kingship is all about? Listen, during my father's time, he was not able to get the government to help my people because my father wasn't so educated and he wasn't exposed. Now I'm king. I am well educated. I want to use everything within my power to help my people. Can't you understand? Don't even deviate from the point. Yes, you want to get the government to help your community. No problem. But that shouldn't affect your responsibility as a married man. Of course it will not affect it. I love I understand what you're saying, but you also need to understand me too. I love my people. I do not want to fail them. I want to get the government to build that company here. It will provide jobs for our people. So in essence, what you're trying to say is that I should fold my arms, sit and wait patiently until the government approves the contract. Only then would my own husband be able to make love to me. Is that it? That's not my point. All right, fine. Listen, even if you want it right now, I can. Okay, I can give it to you. But you know how this thing works. You need emotions. You need your mind to be fully connected to it. Only then will you enjoy it. Right now, my mind is not here. All I'm thinking about is how to help my people and get the government to help them and build the company here. <sighs> you do such a thing? Huh? Not contributing in our discussion, abandoning your food and just walking away with... Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> so you expected me to sit down there and listen to your ambitious contract pursuit that leaves me lonely and unhappy. Is that it? So washing our dirty linen in public, was that nice? No, come on. I, I keep telling you this. You are a queen now. You are the queen of this kingdom. I mean, we should be thinking about the, the, the welfare of the people. If that company is built, it will bring honor and popularity to our kingdom. And most importantly, to bring jobs for the people. You are very selfish. So all that matters to you is honor and popularity. Have you stopped for a second to think of a son that will succeed you? Have you? Have you? It is very simple. Anne, 
You're so <laughs> brilliant. A year one student asking a year two questions. Thank you very much. I read ahead of me. I love reading books. You so know what? I saw it in one of your textbooks, so I had to. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. You can't imagine I can't even sit down and read. And you can't even blame me. I have to, I've been very busy. I have to sort my bills. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Can I ask you something? You're free. What's that thing that keeps you busy every time? Mm -hmm. You know what? Never mind. When I come back, I'm going to just do Okay? Just take care of yourself and thank you for helping me with the assignments. Be careful. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today is one of the best days of my life. You guys are amazing and sexy. Mm. So, let me enjoy it. Of course. You know what it means to be in the middle of two beautiful divas? Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't enjoy it? Mm? Mm. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Is this what you do to all the girls you've selected? Why do you ask? Nothing. I just want to know. Okay. First is you have no right to ask me questions. Secondly, if you want to know my private life, we can get personal. Thirdly, come to the office first thing tomorrow morning, get your papers signed. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, let us stop talking and mm. get to work. Mm. 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 Oh, Yes? Yes. I finished preparing what you asked me to prepare. I went to your room, I didn't see you, so I came here. Oh, oh, oh alright. Okay, that's fine. You can go. Uh, wait. Come back. Um, but how long have you been standing here? I just walked in now. I'm just... uh, alright, you can go. I'll be with you right away. You mean your husband, his majesty, is not in town? My dear, that is exactly what I was telling you. Thank you. My husband no longer has time for me anymore. It is either he's pursuing one government contract here and there, or he's busy building company in this town. <laughs> well, if you ask me, I will say it's not a bad idea. It's for the betterment of this town. <laughs> I mean, this village. At my detriment. So my husband would starve me for six months, right? <laughs> I don't know my husband anymore. What? <laughs> Six good moms. But why? First, it was his father's condition. He 
he was completely devastated and I understood that with him. Next, it was about his brother coming back to the country. That he won't be settled and all of that. If his brother is not back, he won't be crowned. All of that. I equally did understand that with him too. Next thing. Contract talk here and there. That is it. That's it. Well. <sighs> How about this? Ah. I greet you. Don't sit down, sit down. No, sit down. no, don't worry. You're welcome, my elder. Thank you so much. Yes, please, how may I be of help? Uh, I'm here to find out if His Majesty is back. No, he's not yet back. Oh, not yet? Yes. Oh, okay. In that case, um, I will run along. But I want to thank you for standing by him, especially for supporting him to cite that company in our kingdom. That company that will be of immense benefit to us, especially our youths. And for this singular act, our gods will surely bless you. Thank you, Ichi. Yeah, Thank you. Man. Thank you. I'll be on my way. Let me run along. All right. Go well. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> The lights of people pushing him here and there. What sort of king is this? Eh? A king that won't stay in the palace. <sighs> you know what? I just like the way you pretend there. That's if nothing is going wrong. <laughs> My dear, everything is wrong. Everything is completely wrong. I am a woman. I need to feel like I am one. I need the company of a man. I have an idea. Why not go after one of those girls? What? Come in, the door is open. My queen, I brought His Majesty's clothes. Drop it on the table. Um, excuse me. Yeah. You call me, Your Majesty. No, <laughs> don't worry, you can go. My prince, mm. I told you you would never go wrong with me. Mm -hmm. Take a look at uh, this lady right in front of you. I'm sure you don't need anybody to tell you that she is. What are you looking for? She's got everything that a model needs to have. Mm. You can see how sexy, how mm. curvy, how romantic. Tell me you like him, man. Well, physically, she looks good. But I will judge after the room audition, you know. He has to be. <laughs> he, 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 he. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and then afterwards, I'll tell you what I think about her. Not until then, I'll still be looking at her. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. But trust me, my prince, you would never go wrong. Okay, so uh, how about the other girls? Oh, with the uh, 
they should be uh, on their way. You can see how intimidating, mm. intimidating, sexy, captivating. Hey, I'm sorry, 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 Chutes. Did you say she's a model or a belly dancer? She has all in one. I see. Uh, young girl, can you stand up for a minute? Come on, man. Stand up and show what you got. Baby, turn around and shake that sexy booty go. Come on, man. Okay. I told you, man. <laughs> Say <Sit> bye. <laughs> Tell me you're crying. The lecturer sent me out of the class today. Why? What did you do? Because I was not able to afford his handouts and textbooks. But it was same reason you went home to meet your mom. You told me so. Yes. But the money she gave to me was not enough. You know, I'm offering 13 courses um, and my mother is just an honorary acara seller. Okay, how much is the handout? 2,500. You have the money. No. You're a student like me. You need this money to buy other things also. And I have enough. It's from my heart. Okay, just have it. Are you sure? Yes, it's from my heart. You can have it. Hey. 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 Thank you very much. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you for me. You're welcome. I don't even know that people like you still exist. Eh? If you're allowing me to stay in your house. It's fine. It's fine. I would like to you back for all these things. Don't worry. It's you fine. You. God bless you. And of course, you've been helping me too. Look at the way you helped me with my assignments. Household chores. Wash my clothes. Cook. Clean. Come, you deserve you deserve this and more. Just hug me. Yes, Promise me you're not you. going to cry again. I want to see. I'll clean my eyes. I'm not crying again. Okay. okay. God bless you. Oh. Everything is fine now. Everything is all right. Okay. Are you saying you're not traveling again? Of course not. I've won the government over. Construction of the company will start anytime from now. Do you know how it feels to be abandoned? And to think that you abandon me for some company contract. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. But I'm here now, okay? Do you know what I have been through all this while? Do you know how it feels to be touched by a man and abandoned by the same man for over six months? You see what I was telling you? You can actually graduate from this school without bothering your mom. Rather, you'll be the one sending her money. 
How do you mean? The question should be, can you do what it takes? I'm ready to do anything. I'm ready to work as long as it will help me supporting my mom to pay my school fees. We call it runs. Can you do runs? Runs. Do you want to give a runs? Is it a, a running competition? <laughs> and you're really naive. Runs is making money off men by offering them your body and they give you good money in return. Hey! In other words, selling my body for money. Listen, it depends on what you call it. That's what most girls do to survive. I can't believe this is what you do. I can't believe it. Come to think of it, Anne, where do you think I get the money to pay for this house? Buy some of your handouts and test textbooks. I... It's from Rons. I cannot sell my body for money. Iba Akuna. I can't do it. My mother will kill me. Do I have a choice? I'm from a poor background just like you. My parents cannot afford to pay for my handouts, hmm. let alone put me in a house like this. This is the only survival I know. And you better do it. I can't. My mother will kill me. I can't do it. No. I, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. Huh. See my body for me. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like you did this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am super proud of you. I'm Thank super you. proud of you. I'm very, very excited, and I am sure the entire kingdom will be very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? The construction of the company will start in two weeks. Wow. No time. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> That's one of the benefits of having an exposed and young king like you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mike, I am happy. Yeah. I am happy. Mm. And I know that it will go down in the history of this kingdom. Mm. That during my reign as king, I was able to bring that gigantic company to be mm. constructed mm. right here. In true, our place. true, true, true. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's a big achievement. Thank you. That's a big achievement. Thank nice you. record. Thank you. <laughs> nice record. <laughs> wow. Your Majesty. You you don't seem excited. You didn't hear the good news? Of course. Ah, it's a good achievement for the good of the people. I love you not happy. What's wrong? Um Nothing. Just been thinking about your brother's modeling business. How is it going? Oh, <laughs> my modeling business is doing perfectly well. Trust me. Uh, guess what, bro? Yeah. Uh, we just signed a very big contract with one of the biggest fashion shows in South Africa. And guess mm -hmm. what? We're sending 10 supermodels, of course. <laughs> For real? For real. <laughs> wow. That's, 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 that's huge. Big. <laughs> You're really serious about this modeling business of yours, huh? Of course. I spent years and money studying about this. I'm proud of you. I was all that you back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to find a wife. Are you serious about everything you just told me? Do I look like a joker to you? Of course I am very serious. Listen, darling. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> okay. That sounds nice. But you have to promise me one thing. Okay, go ahead. I want you to promise me that you will not have anything to do with the other girls. Now you tell me why do I need other girls when I have you? <laughs> I have you, I have everything. <laughs> it's so nice and it's surprising because it's coming from a playboy like you. 
I used to be a playboy. With you, I'm a changed man. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh, my. What's going on? This is wrong. Have you suddenly forgotten this is an office? <laughs> Could have been a client that just walked in the way I did. And what would you have to tell them? Is this how to apologize for budging in on us? Excuse me, but you're actually referring to me. Are you mad? I mean, are you stupid? Hey, 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 hey. I will not have you talk to me like that. Tell me something, Mike. Mike, what are you doing? Hey, don't worry, let me handle it. All right, um, Mr. Bodyguard of Mr. P.A. I'm done with you, huh? As you can see, I'm busy. Come on, baby. Where will we leave? Leave. <laughs> Mike! <laughs> Mike! <laughs> Aha, hello. I just need your money. Thank you for this. Well, how did it go? Um, uh, yes, Your Majesty. I've been able to clear those checks you gave me. Okay. I've opened a new account with the village stamp. Uh, uh, very good, very good, very good. It means the construction of the company will start very soon. Good. But Your Majesty, I thought you have a personal account in the bank. Why do you have to open another with the village name? Why can't it remain in your own account? <laughs> okay. It's called accountability. Yes, the money does not belong to me. It belongs to the people. Mm. It belongs to the government. Mm. Yes, even though the check was done in my name. But I need the people to know how their money is spent. It's very important. Mm. That's good. Mm. This is a pure act of responsibility and integrity. In other kingdoms, we hear about how their kings embezzle their public fund with impunity. <laughs> but our kingdom is different. Very yeah. different. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, <coughs> our kingdom is blessed. Yes. Is that, Your Majesty. Hello. When is the foreign uh, construction company coming to start work? Ah, very good question. No, no. Uh, I like that. Sinead Meme. I like that. Once we finish this meeting, I will speak with them. Yes, I'm sure they will start the uh, the foundation this week. Very oh, good. Aha! <laughs> Another thing. I want all our youths, the jobless ones, to be part of the construction of that company. Oh, that's good. Yes, it will provide employment for them. Huh? So, after this meeting, send the word out. Huh? All our jobless youths, let them go there. Huh? And yeah, I will pay them very well. Yes, you know how it goes. The moment you engage these young men, when the names were in and they hang one, you will all stop all. Whoa, whoa, whoa! These boys are very well. Take it easy, babe. <laughs> All right, uh, bro, how are you doing? Oh, what am I doing? How can I be asking the king of a kingdom how he's doing? Of course, you should do good. All right, uh, so, uh, Elvis, how you all doing? Uh, what is it about you and this red cops you wear all the time? You were connected to a native doctor or something? Oh, no, they don't even change it. You sometimes do blue, black, or some other colors. Uh, Elder, <laughs> you should learn to wear your cap in a swagalicious way. <laughs> See how you here? You look good. <laughs> so, babe, look at my brother. Tell me, doesn't he look like a liar? Huh? <laughs> All right, Elders. I don't know what you guys are discussing here, but I'm about to go have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, you have to do something about this before the image of this kingdom will be tarnished. Yes. Hi. Hmm. A drunk and womanizing prince. 
Is that what our youths will learn from him? Your late father. He never exhibited any of this character. Not at all. I wonder where he got his lifestyle from. Is this what American life is all about? <laughs> My son was even asking me that he would send me a visa to come down to America. Is this type of thing that I'm going to land there? At this my age? Look at what I'm seeing here. Look at what I'm seeing here. It's a useless venture. Um, elders, come. On behalf of my brother, I apologize. Huh? I'll speak to him. I promise you this will not happen again. He will learn. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, my friend. Come in. Mm. Oh, my prince, the king sends your presence immediately. Go and tell the king that I am in the middle of something very important. I'm sorry, my prince. He says immediately. Then just go, I'm coming. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Why would you ask a mega to come into our... Oh, 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 please. Let's not argue, all right? No, please. Maybe. Oh, in that case, I don't know why you call me. The guard sounded so urgent. So I hope there is no problem. Okay, put your legs down. I said, put your legs down. What's the meaning of what you did here a few minutes ago? I don't understand. What did I do? So it has gotten to this. Huh? You now come into this palace. Not just into the palace, into the throne room. Drunk. With a woman. Huh? And then you disrespect the elders of this land completely. Bro, I don't understand what you're insinuating. You want me to abandon my American lifestyle and then adjust to this archaic lifestyle simply because that is what you and the elders want? Oh, please, brother. I am no longer a boy. I'm a man now. I don't believe this. Mike, can you just listen to yourself? Huh? Listen to yourself. Do you know who you are? For God's sake, you are a prince. And your brother is the king of this land. I mean, what do you want uh, young boys who are looking up to you? What, what do you want them to, to, to learn? Drinking? Womanizing? Is that it? Oh, brother, please, 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 please. I will take everything from you, but definitely not calling me names. What is it? You, you want me to abandon my lifestyle? Simply because that's what you and the elders want? Brother, please, you already know that's impossible. I will not have you destroy the legacy that father worked so hard to build. Can you hear me? So I give you two options. Is it that you stay in this palace and comport yourself or you get out? Did I hear you say? You should leave this palace. You want me out of the palace? Out of my father's house? Fine, but I want you to remember that I was enjoying my life living comfortably in the United States before you and this weird elders called me back to this godforsaken Mike! I will not have you insult the elders of this land. I thought it was just the elders. Never knew you joined them. You all are weird. You're crazy!
You went a bit too far. You shouldn't have slapped him in the first place, let alone ask him out of the palace. So what do I do now? He's the only family I have left. I don't want him to leave. I don't want to lose him. Um, I think you should apologize to him. He's your brother. I'm sure he'll forgive you. I went to his room. I knocked a couple of times. He didn't open up. Mm. Okay. I'll try and see if he will open for me. <laughs> ah, boy. I doubt if he'll even talk to you. No one else. There's no harm in trying. Let's just see how it goes. All right. Um, if he opens up, tell him I'm very sorry. Um, tell him I love him very much as a brother. And I don't want him to leave. Okay. All right. That's fine. Thank you. Shoma, can you just go? Go, I don't want to eat. Thank you. Go! It's Elizabeth. I want to talk to you. Sorry. Yes. Um. Sorry for disturbing your no. quiet hour. Uh... It's nothing actually. Please do sit down. Thank you. So you said you wanted to talk to me. Uh yes. Actually, it's about what happened earlier on, um, with you and your brother. He's really sorry. I already forgive my brother. My brother doesn't want me here, so first thing tomorrow morning, I'm out of here. No, he did whatever he did or said out of anger. I'm certain he wasn't serious. You don't even understand the issue here. My brother doesn't want me here and so are the elders. They don't want me here. So I just leave here, go somewhere very quiet, plan myself, make my papers and then back to the States. Um, you see, you don't have to go. Yeah, because if you leave, I'll, I'll miss you. I'll miss you terribly. <sighs> That's so sweet. I'll miss you. I'll miss everyone, my brother, my new friends. I'll miss everybody. You actually don't get what I'm trying to say. I am badly in love with you. I never knew you had an eye on me. <sighs> you know how jealous I used to be seeing you walk into this palace with all these girls. Well, you wouldn't blame me. I never knew you had an eye on me, so I thought you wouldn't mind. <sighs> I want you to make me Two promises. <laughs> I already know what you want me to promise you. I'm not traveling back to the state and I would reconcile with my brother. That's one. 
The second one is, I want you to promise me that you are not ever going to bring any of your skills to this palace again. Why? Do you want me to die of jealousy? Okay, I, I'll take them outside. Probably hotel. No! No business with them at all. So you just want me to to yourself? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> To go now. Hmm? <laughs> if a man is going to to work. Yeah. You have to go back now. So tell your husband that I have no problems with him. As a matter of fact, you have just cursed his sins. What <laughs> <laughs> now? Oh, baby. Uh, what happened? What, what took you so long? How did it go? It was so difficult to, to convince, convince him, but I finally did. For real? Mm. So, I pleaded and pleaded and pleaded. I finally accepted to forgive you. Really? Mm. Thank you so much. You'll be surprised tomorrow. He may be the one to wake you up from sleep. Ah. He would have come this night, but he said he was tired. She didn't bother himself. I'll be the one to go to his room. Huh? Mm -hmm. Stop in there now. You know, you know me. Very humble person. I'll, I'll go to his room. <laughs> oh, my love. Such a good wife. What would I do without you? <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing, baby. Come on. I am your wife, and it's part of my duty as your wife to make sure that you and your brother live in peace. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you need. Really, I'm tired. Tired. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I, I don't mention it. You, you're never tired, come on. Baby, baby, please. I, I'm kind of feverish. Eh? Yes, not tonight. I beg. Mm. Yeah. Feverish? Yeah, I think it's stress. Okay, should I get you drugs? No, no, don't worry, I'll be fine. I oh. just need to rest a bit. Okay, fine. Oh. I believe if you get some sleep by tomorrow, you'll be fine. Thank you so much. Alright. Mm. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> I'm sorry I slapped you. I'm also sorry I asked you to leave the palace. Um, I don't think we should be talking about that now. I mean, not while we're eating. I already forgave you. I mean, long forgotten. So, I can imagine creating a distance with my brother simply because of that little misunderstanding. Come on, no. Yeah. <laughs> Truth is, I've been feeling so bad because I don't want you to leave. You're my only brother. <laughs> I'm going nowhere, brother. <clears throat> I want to promise you that uh, henceforth, I will not be bringing my numerous women home. Wow, that's lovely. <laughs> Shows true repentance. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mike. Mike, uh, the problem is not bringing numerous women 
to the palace. The problem is having numerous women. I want you to get a wife. Ah, uh, honey, why don't you just take it easy? There's no need rushing him. Let him take his time to find a befitting woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just made a point. You know, these things take time. Yeah, I'll just take my time. All right, I'll give you time then. But remember, you're not getting any of them. Oh, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Linda, where are you going by this time of the night? I thought I told you a friend of mine invited me for a commissioner's birthday party. Would you like to go? Sure. You know I don't go out once it's 6 p.m. Uh, let's go. By the time you come back in the morning, your bag will be loaded with lots of cash. So this is what it's all about. Sleeping with top politicians for money. What kind of girl is this? What kind of girl are you? You don't have a boyfriend? You don't go out to catch your phone? Is this what you think life is all about? Instead of living this kind of life, why don't you go into a relationship with a responsible man that can lead to marriage? Who knows? Love, relationship, it's like no guy has ever broken your heart before. Sit here and be waiting for love and relationship. I'm off, Joe. You're here. Yeah, yeah. What do you expect? My friends called me and I have to leave everything behind. Let's sit here. What's going on, man? Guess what? Come on, man. You know I'm not good at guessing what's happening. Can you just guess? At least try. Please go on and tell me what's popping, man. Okay. Our deal just clicked. <laughs> I don't get it. Which of the deals? The soap company. 50 cool million. <laughs> Jeez, this is wonderful. <laughs> This means we are in business. Of course. Whew. Now, what's in this right now? Oh, that's why I called you. Go back home, call our models, tell them to resume here first thing tomorrow morning while going to the studio for our photo shoot. What's that done, my prince? This is wonderful. This is awesome, man. Look at your 50. Oh, come on, here, don't, man. Don't, don't get used to it, man. I'm going to call him right away, man. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe this, man. All right, you got to believe it. It's uh, my check. I mean, because I just need to leave right now and give them a call. I'll see you right around. Get work, liquor. <laughs> wow, I am impressed. Huh? This calls for celebration. Not only did you win the contract, but they're also going to pay you well, like you said. Nice. <laughs> I'm proud of you, brother. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much. Good, good. My joy is that I have finally silenced my critics. At least no one will see me as one who is just fooling around. Oh, Mike. Nobody says you're fooling around. The elders only say you should reduce your excessive drinking and your appetite for women. Huh? <laughs> well, I want to gladly inform you that I will be kicking off with my photo shoot tomorrow. And afterwards, I... I'll do a couple of soap adverts and then I'll see if I can shoot one or two movies. I like that. <laughs> nice. Um, I I'd like to come with you. Excuse me. What did you just say? Just to feed my eyes. Feed your eyes on what? What are you going there to do? How dare you? I just want to know how your brother runs his business. Is it your business? Is this business your business? You're a queen of this land. What, what are you going there to do? So because I'm a queen, I can't move around anymore. Yes, you cannot move around uh, anymore. Uh, um, um, 
bro, bro, brother priest. I don't want to look like I'm the reason you guys are having this misunderstanding, please. Uh, she just wants to know how I do my business. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Just, you know, just to, 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 to feed her eyes, like she said. I'm not sure there's anything wrong. Be careful how you look at me. Someone could be watching from above. I need your love in every day. But if you touch me that way. People will know we are in love Just say there's nothing going on between us Okay, just one last thing, okay? Can. Okay, can we have something different? Okay, okay. your face, your smiles, there we go. Beautiful! That's it, thank you. Thank you, next! Okay? That's beautiful. Can we have it? Okay, another one. Let's go. That's it. Something better? Okay. That's okay. What's this? No, baby. Is this what? how you run your modeling company? Is this it? Trust me, if this is how you run this company, then this business is going to shut down in little or no time. Hold your breath, lady. You're here for business, isn't it? You don't mix business and pleasure. It doesn't work that way. Face the business and do the business. I don't get it. Is this is this what you all do here? No, I'm out of here. What, you see? what did I cause? Sit here, sit here, sit here. You just wouldn't sit here. Have you seen what you've caused? Now didn't you sit here? Sit! Simple instruction, sit! Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Mike, you've not answered my question. Why did you bring me to a hotel instead of the, the, the normal house we used to we go to every time? What's going on? What kind of stupid question is that? Didn't you see the drama between my brother and I the last time you visited? Okay, fine, fine, but my case is different. I am your fiancé for crying out loud, or am I not? You are. But not until I formally introduce you to my brother as my fiancé, we continue to do hotels. But you were there, fine, fine. You were there when I wanted to do that and she got angry, flayed up and then walked out. Well, your fault. You should have just obeyed simple instruction. I said sit. You should have just done that. Sit? Just because I sat down on your legs? Something that every other girlfriend would do to her boyfriend. And then she got angry. Okay, fine. Okay, let's... Tell me, is there any other thing attached to this? Like, go ahead. Like what? I see you're running your mouth. You better be careful. I'm taking too much of your excesses. If you continue like this, you will leave me with no other option than to break up. Yes, break up. Mike, I am sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, please. It's, she just overreacted and... And who is responsible for that overreaction? You. I said, sit down. You should have just obeyed simple instruction. Okay, now you see what you cost me. My first major project. Where will you learn how to differentiate business and pleasure? There's time for everything. Look at how you ruined my first major contract. Do you know what that contract means to me? Baby, I'm so, so sorry. I've told you. I, I, I'm sorry. I take all the blame. Look, just calm down, okay? It will never, ever happen again. I love you. I'm sorry. What you did back there was wrong. Totally wrong. Well, why, why would you walk away simply because you saw her sitting on my lap? That is totally unacceptable. What impression are you trying to create? 
that we have something going? Don't even try to turn things around. You cost it and you know it. How did I cost it? Is it my fault that I'm tall, dark and handsome? Irresistible? Did I ask her to sit on my lap? But you told me that you were going to cut her off completely. You weren't going to have anything to do with her. But what did I get? Strong passion from both of you. And you expected me to just stay there and watch you two and not get jealous? I'm sorry. Sorry about my actions. Sorry if I overreacted. Come on, I'm a human. I can't stand any woman come close to you, let alone the thoughts that the woman would take you away from me. I'm sorry. Please. Listen. No woman can take me away from you. It's just here. Yeah. Your imagination, that's all. I love you. Deeply. I love you more. Oh, God. Where were you all my life? Why didn't I meet you before I met your brother? I would have gladly married you instead. Mm. Huh? You're a perfect being. You are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. And that is why I love. Who is it? Who is it? It's Kelvin. Looking for my wife. Your wife? Yes, you see her? No, no, I don't see her. I was just here watching TV. Oh. Okay, well, I've been searching for her. I've searched the entire premises. I don't know. Okay. She didn't tell me where she was going to. So I was wondering maybe maybe she told you. She told me? No. No, 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 not at all. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Okay.
Where are you coming from? Did you look for me? What sort of question is that? I asked you a question. Answer me. Where are you coming from? Babe, I was in the premises. Which premises? Which premises? You're lying. I went round this whole building, the, the whole compound. I did not see you. Even though the palace guard helped me check, nobody saw you. So where are you coming from? Palace guard and you? Oh, it must have been when I went to the maiden's room. I went to talk to them. I would be having visitors tomorrow. So maybe when I was there, that's when you were searching. What, the moment I got done, I was in the premises. So why didn't you tell me? I mean, you, you got me worried. You should have told me before going there. I, I was searching everywhere for you. It, it never occurred to me to search the maiden's room. You should have told me. Don't worry. I'm here now. I'm sorry. Okay. Fine. Next time, let me know. Okay? You just got me worried. Let me know. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Not again. No, now, come on. Not, not again. What's going on? Look at me, look at me. What is going on? I mean, you've been the one asking for this. Now I'm ready and you keep telling me tomorrow, day after tomorrow, next week. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Babe, nothing is wrong. I'm just tired. You know, after talking to the maidens and all, plus a lot, I'm sorry, see, both of us are going to be in the house tomorrow or two, morning, night, I'm going to give it to you anyhow you want it. But for this night, please let me just rest. I'm really tired. You know what? Just lay down. Let me lie in there. Just hold me. Hold me. Good night, baby. I love you. I'm in love with your brother. I wish he's the one holding me right now. Man, this business is so, so good. I'm enjoying it. But I told you, modeling is a very lucrative business. Yeah, you did. It just requires um, professional touch. Which you are, man. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, our girls, have they received their checks? I gave them and they were so excited. They were happy to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, here's your check for a job well done. Are you serious? <laughs> Come on, man. This is a wonderful person, my prince. This is good. Yeah. My prince, you have no idea of what you've done for me right now. Come on, man. It's nothing. What are friends for? Listen, with this, I'll see myself through my master's degree. You're going back to school for your master's? <sighs> yeah, man. I've been looking forward to this, but the catch hasn't been good. Well, if that's not enough, please do not hesitate to let me know. Again? Of course. Oh, man. The prince! <laughs> You're my homie, man. No, it's fine. It's prince. Fine, it's fine. You know what? I will never forget the day we met and we became friends. I'll keep so, blessing this. Now day. you're beginning to sound like a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> Work has been good. Uh, let's see. How about we go out and have a um, you know, Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go do it, man. All right. Uh, let's go. Oh, my God. Woo! All right. Uh, People will know we are in love. Just say there's nothing. Don't do anything suspicious. I love you, sir, but no one should know. You sent for me. Yes, one minute. Ah. Ah. All this plenty money. They're all for you. For me. Ooh. Yes. Take. Three thousand seven hundred and fifty naira. Please manage it. That's all I have. 
enough. I, 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 I hope it will be enough. It's not enough. It can only buy one hand out. But I'll manage it. No, I'm big or manage. I don't have any money. You know, business has been bad. You know the price of beans so one year. See? Since all this voting and the other one become one, manage it. For now. Mama, you are really trying your best for me. Only if these lecturers will understand. Eh? If you don't buy their handouts, they will fail you. Even if you sit for it, they will still fail you. Fail you up on any failure if you are up here. Nobody will fail you. You are not your God. Eh? Amen, you will fight favor in God on one year failure. If God says good, you pass, you pass, you go. I can't go failing. Thank you very much. You've been so good to me. May God keep you alive to enjoy the fruit of your labor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't talk like that. You're my only daughter. And there is nothing within my power that I will not do to make sure you have a better life than I had. Oh, thank eh? you. God bless you. Bless you more. Eh? Eh? Mm -hmm. They were calling me eh, Mama Graduate. Mama Graduate. Mm -hmm. When you. Aburo Graduate. Guinea. Graduate. 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 Mm -hmm. When you become a graduate, mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. Graduate. graduate. It's a mistake. When you become a graduate. <laughs> Kira is so sweet. You're the only man who knows how to make me feel like a woman. But I have this feeling that you and us want to go somewhere and not about us. Why do you say so? I see you losing control each time you set your eyes on me. Even in his presence. And your constant visits to my room will implicate us. Your point being what exactly? Reduce the way you look at me. The way you constantly visit my room. Just keep it on low. <laughs> Do you want to kill me? <laughs> you know I can't stop. Your love has eaten so deep into me. Listen. I know you love me so much, but got to control yourself else you would leave me with no option than to quit yes what do you think my brother would do if he finds out about us clap for us give us a trophy when a man dies isn't his brother Permitted by tradition to marry his wife. Of course. Wait a minute. I hope it's not what I am thinking. If you love me, let's kill him. Become the king and marry me. Sir, please, you need to help me, sir. Please, I beg you in the name of God. I hope next month I beg you, please, to help me, please. I will pay next month. Yes, sir, I will. I promise you. I promise you. I shall sit from the cross. I shall. I find my hand out. Let us do. We can do the next one. Son, please. I beg you. I don't have anybody supporting me financially. Apart from my mother, and she's a widow. Please, I beg you. You just need to help me. If your family does not have money to support your school, you better stay at home. Education is money. Like I said, you, you can do the needful. Yes. Needful? Sir, I don't understand. What do you mean by that? 
Let's end. <laughs> well, let me let's do. Ah. Yes, I never tell you before. Jesus, I cannot sleep with you. I can't do that. So please, I cannot do that. I can't sleep with you. Yes. How may I help you? Okay. You can't sit. How sir? What can I do for you? The lady crying. She refused to do anything to me. Um, if I would understand you very well, what do you mean by the need for me? Didn't she pass her curse? Who are you talking to me? I tell you, I to my office and you Excuse me? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Alright, let me formally introduce myself to you. I am Prince Mike. The prince of this land. My father gave this land to the school authority to build this school that you have turned into something else. Let me speak. You molest your students. Take advantage of them because of your selfish interest. That is not it. How inhuman can you possibly be? The, 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 the prince. I will walk straight to the vice chancellor's office. And I will tell him of your activities in this office. No, it, it has not got into that, Prince. We can actually settle this here. I was trying to... Uh, well, now quiet. You have only one option. You will do as I say. Henceforward. Please. Uh, please, address me as Sir. Okay, okay, Prince. Sir. Good. Chooks, let's bounce. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. My prince, um, I want... Please. Miss Anna, I would appreciate if you call me by my name, Mike. <laughs> my prince, I want to say thank you for everything you did for me Seven. today. Well, it's nothing actually, all right? I do not like to see people being molested. I don't. So, tell me about you. My prince, there's nothing fantastic about me. I'm the only child. My mother is a poor widow. She sells Akara to, to support me in my school. <laughs> she sells a car. Oh, well, it's not that bad. You already know me. I am the CEO to one of the best model agencies you have in Nigeria. And I would like you to be one of my models. No, my prince. My mother will kill me if she finds out. She won't be happy with me. I see your mother's got a stronghold on you. Every girl would jump at that offer. My prince, I have to go now. I have lectures in 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before then, can you visit me at the palace like tomorrow? No, my prince, I'm sorry. I don't think I can come. I'm sorry. Forgive me. All right. I'm sorry, here. That's my card. Call me if, call me if you need anything. No. Thank you very much. You've done enough for me already. By paying up my bills today. Thank you. God bless you. I have to take my leave now. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. There is something about this girl. She's something else. I want every information you can get about her. She dominated my thought. Why can I seem to get this girl off my mind? There is something spectacular about this girl. I'll find out soon. What's wrong? And Lizzie, I have a lot on my mind. Is it possible for me to be left alone? If it's about your brother, don't worry. I put some sleeping pills in his drink. He's fast asleep and is not going to wake up till morning. So, come on. Make love to me like you know how to do that. You did what? You put sleeping pills in my brother's drink? Yeah. Aha, that reminds me. So, when are we finally eliminating him? Can you stop this nonsense? Eliminate who? And delete that thought off your head. I should kill my brother for what? Sex? Really? I thought you said you loved me. That's the only way our love can blossom without interference. Love between you and who? Get out. I'm going nowhere until you make love to me. Very well then. How about me calling my brother so that we can all have a threesome? You saw the prince today. Yes, I did. You know that psychology lecturer? That one that was frustrating my life. Hmm? I went to his office. I was begging him not to fail me. And he insisted on sleeping with me. Suddenly the prince came in and treated him. That was how I was free and got my good scores back. So what happened after that? Nothing happened. Ah, we just went to the canteen and um, he invited me to the palace. You know, not too much. So when are you going to the palace? I refuse. I didn't accept the offer. Ha. Ah, Ogini, what's wrong with you? Do you know how many girls would jump at such offer to visit the palace? Mm. Mm. I am not one of those girls. What am I going to the palace to do? And I heard that the prince is a womanizer. Yes! And so what? You see your problem. No gaining. You bring in decency into everything. Oh my god. I know what to do. You know what to do. Whatever you are doing, count me out. I am not interested. Oh. Could be watching from above. I 
Girl, I like your perfume. 